Today we're going to look at some basics that you should need to know if you are going to invest in stocks and shares. This is brought to you from youaremovingup.com. What we're going to look at today is what is a stock. Most people know what a stock is, but do you really understand? So today we're going to spend a few minutes just going through an explanation of what is a stock exactly. A stock, sometimes called an equity or a share, is a type of investment that reflects ownership of a portion of a business. This allows stockholders to a proportionate share of the corporation's assets and income based on the number of shares they possess. Shares is the term for stock units. Stocks are the foundation of many individual investors' portfolios and are primarily bought and sold on stock exchanges, though private sales can occur. These transactions must adhere to government regulations designed to protect investors from fraudulent practices. They have historically outperformed most other investments in the long run. These investments are available from the majority of online stockbrokers. A summary, a summary of what we'll be looking at in this chapter. A stock is a type of security that indicates the holder owns a portion of the issuing corporation. Companies issue, sell stocks to raise funds for their operation. Stock is classified into two types, common and preferred. Stocks are bought and sold primarily on stock exchanges, though private sales are possible and they form the foundation of nearly every portfolio. In the long run, they have historically outperformed most other investments. Stocks, an introduction. Corporations issue sell stocks to raise funds for their operations. The holder of stock, a shareholder, purchases, purchases a piece of the company and depending on the type of shares held, may be entitled to a portion of the corporation's assets and earnings. In other words, a shareholder has become a shareholder of the issuing company. The number of shares a person owns in relation to the number of outstanding shares determines ownership. For example, if a company has 1,000 outstanding shares of stock and one person owns 100 shares, that person owns and has a claim to 10% of the company's assets and earnings. Corporations are not owned by stockholders, rather they own shares issued by corporations. Corporations, on the other hand, are a unique, unique type of organisation because they are legally recognised as legal persons. In other words, corporations pay taxes, borrow money, own property and can be sued. A corporation is a person in the sense that it owns its own assets. The corporation, not the shareholders, owns a corporate office full of chairs and tables. The distinction is important because corporate property is legally distinct from shareholders' property, limiting the liability of both the um, corporation and the shareholder. If the corporation declares bankruptcy, a judge may order that all of its assets be sold, 
but your personal assets are not at risk, even if the value of your shares has plummeted. The court cannot order you to sell them. Similarly, if a major shareholder declares bankruptcy, they cannot sell the company's assets to pay off their creditors. Equity ownership and stockholders. The shares issued by the corporation are what shareholders actually own and the corporation owns the assets held by a firm. So if you own 33% of a company's shares, it is incorrect to say you own one third of the company. Instead, you should say you own 100% of one third of the company's shares. Shareholders are not free to do whatever they want with a corporation or its assets. A shareholder cannot walk away with a chair because the corporation, not the shareholder, owns the chair. This is referred to as ownership and control separation. Owning shares entitles you to vote in shareholder meetings, receive dividends, the company's profits, if and when they are distributed, and sell your shares to another person. When you own a majority of the shares, your voting power increases, allowing you to indirectly control a company's direction by appointing its board of directors. This is most obvious when one company buys another. Instead of buying up the, the building, the chairs and the employees, the acquiring company buys up all of the shares. The board of directors is in charge of increasing the corporation's value, which is frequently accomplished by hiring professional managers or officers such as the Chief Executive Officer or CEO. For most ordinary shareholders, not being able to manage the company isn't a big deal. The importance of being a shareholder is that you are entitled to a portion of the company's profits, which, as we will see, are the foundation of a stock's value. The greater your stake in the company, the larger your profit share. In contrast, many stocks do not pay dividends and instead reinvest profits in the company's growth. These retained earnings, however, are still reflected in the value of a stock. Common stock versus preferred stock. There are two types of stock, common and preferred. Common stock typically entitles the owner to vote at shareholder meetings and to any dividends paid out by the corporation. Preferred stockholders do not typically have voting rights, but they, but, but they do have a greater claim on assets and earnings than common stockholders. For example, preferred stockholders receive dividends before common stockholders and have priority if a company goes bankrupt and is liquidated. When a company needs to raise more money, it can issue new stock. As a result of this process, existing shareholders' ownership and rights are diluted, provided they do not buy any of the new offerings. Corporations can also engage in stock buybacks, which increase the value of existing shareholders' shares. Stocks versus bonds. Companies issue stocks to raise capital, either paid up or share capital. In order to expand their operation or embark on new projects, there are significant differences between buying shares directly, directly from the company when it is issued in the primary market and buying them 
from another shareholder in the secondary market. When the corporation issues shares, it does so in exchange for money. Bonds are fundamentally different from stocks in a number of ways. First and foremost, bondholders are creditors of the corporation and they are entitled to both interest and principal repayment. In the event of bank rupsy, creditors have legal precedence over other stakeholders and will be paid first if a company is forced to sell assets to repay them. In the event of bankruptcy, however, shareholders are frequently the last in line and receive nothing or only pennies on the dollar. This implies that stocks are inherently riskier as investments than bonds. To summarise, a stock is a piece of an organisation's equity that is owned in fractions. It is not the same as a bond, which is more like a loan made to the company by creditors in exchange for periodic payments. A corporation may issue stock to raise funds from investors for new projects or to expand its business operations. There are two types of stock, common stock and preferred stock. The stock owner's rights vary depending on the type of stock they own. A common stockholder has the right to vote in shareholders meetings and, re and receive dividends from the company's profits, whereas a preferred stockholder has the right to preferential treatment over common stockholders in the event of a company's bankruptcy. So this is um, a description of what a stock is. Uh, now, as I say, we do get muddled up with the word stock and share. And it clearly says here, a stock, sometimes called an equity or a share, is a type of investment that reflects ownership of a portion of a business. Hope you found this of interest. Um, please um, take a look at my my um, site. You are moving up. That's, um, dot com. That's a website I run, and also my YouTube channel. Or you are probably watching this on my YouTube channel. You are moving up. Till next time, I bid you a really successful investing adventure.